Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. We're starting the vlog with a quick little lunch in our backyard. We kind of just did like an impromptu Costco run and saw these Korean short ribs. So we're just gonna have a nice little brunch in the back. But let me show you the short ribs. So we got the Korean grill going with the short ribs. This is from Costco. So we're gonna see how that it is. We're gonna see how that tastes. Then just random, we had these um, Cajun sausages in our freezer, some asparagus. I made some cucumber dish the other night, so we're gonna have that. We have some corn and rice. Yeah, just a quick little meal. Oh, forgot, we also bought some scallops at Costco. So we're just gonna do a really simple seasoning on them to grill lemon garlic just keeping it simple today impromptu so let's eat it's such a nice day today it's warm but it's not too hot so we decided to break out the korean grill and just have a little nice grill moment the dogs are out thank good. you uh more a little more that's good thank you We got Aiko here. Say hi. Where's Hero? Hero, come. Hero's over there sunbathing. All right, here's how my plate is looking. We have some rice, corn, some cucumber and sausage, and then the kalbi ribs. We didn't do any of the vegetables yet, but it looks pretty good. If you know Kim Tai, she's uh, infamous for her sausage, rice, and cucumbers. So let's try that first. Sausage, rice, cucumber, let's go. Mmm. So good. It's like my favorite combo. We have some scallops on the grill. Okay, we're gonna try these beef kalbi short ribs from Costco. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm, not bad. Not bad. Cinnamon taste to it. Mm -hmm. There is like a cinnamony taste to it, which cinnamon is my secret ingredient to a lot of dishes. To balance out flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna try a scallop. And this is literally just with this. That's it, just this. Let's see. Mmm, wow. For it just being that seasoning, that's actually really good. Hero decided to join the party. Say hi to the vlog, Hero. Oh, and Iko. <laughs> I ain't no. All right, so that started out really cute and then it got hot real quick, so we just, Finished cooking meat, packed up, went inside. I changed because I was sweating. And I think we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day. Maybe watch a movie. And tomorrow is Sunday and I am helping a friend shoot a wedding. So I should I try to take you guys along with me Sunday? Maybe I can wear the uh, Insta360 Go and kind of just document a little bit of the wedding. We'll see. Hi everyone, good morning, it's the next day. Like I said yesterday, I'm actually shooting a wedding today, but it's not until about two o'clock. So we're gonna go grab some coffee at a coffee shop that my friend, our friend owns. It's called Mixed Grounds over in National City. We got the girls with us. So we're just craving mm -hmm. some different coffee other than homemade coffee or Starbucks today. So we're gonna head up Mixed Grounds. They have a really good Vietnamese iced coffee there that's made out of real coffee beans from Vietnam. So I might get that because I'm gonna need the caffeine for this wedding. All right, here we are at Public Market. Come on. And inside here is a bunch of little food stalls and, and coffee. Mixed Grounds is in there. Bunch of little food stalls over there. Here's Mixed Grounds coffee. What up, Pa? 
Such cool artwork as well. Look at that artwork, so cool. That's in this one. Oh, okay. So dogs are allowed in this area, but not in that area. Let's go outside. Okay, let's try the Vietnamese iced co coffee. I've had this before, so this is um, with the normal condensed milk. Yum, that's strong. And then I got one with, I wanted to try their vegan coconut milk, condensed coconut milk. I think I'm gonna let the ice melt a little more, but let's just try. Whoa, this is sweeter. Let's try it. I like the original, it's not as sweet. Yeah, that one's way better. What do you think, Kiro? Which one do you like? Yeah. Alright guys, we are going to go shoot this wedding with a friend. I'm going to take the uh, Insisty Trixie Go with me and see what kind of footage I can get just to take you guys along with me. Alright, let's go. Gotta wear all black. Okay, we are almost at our first location, which is actually their house. They're both getting ready at their house, which I love. It's a little bit more intimate when you do that versus like a hotel. And they are doing like their first look and everything. So it makes it easy for us to just grab all the pictures in one location. They also live literally across the street from the beach. So hopefully we find pretty good parking. Um, and then the wedding is at Birch Aquarium in La Jolla. So it's actually a really small intimate wedding. I believe there's only like 20 guests, so it's going to be a nice intimate gathering. Obviously, the first part is in their house, so I'm not going to take you guys along with me because it's just a little too, you know, personal. <laughs> but I will try to get some clips while we're at Birch Aquarium, kind of give you guys a behind the scenes look at wedding photography. Yeah, so I will check in with you guys in a few hours when we are at the aquarium. Let's try this again. Wow, they are literally right next to the ocean. That's crazy. Go past the stop sign. Oh my god, they literally live across the freaking ocean. That is wild. Turn left, then the destination is on your left. Wow, what the heck? But I want to show you guys where we're at real quick. Holy mackerel, look at that. We got some awesome pictures over here with them. Okay, I feel totally ridiculous wearing all black right by the beach. I probably look crazy, but whatever. Look at that beach though. I'm gonna take you guys over. Wow, this is pretty epic. All right, y'all, I'm here now at the parking lot for Birch Aquarium. I wanted to take some videos in the house because the house was insane. It was literally across the street from the beach. Such an insane house. Location was crazy, but yeah, we are now going to the ceremony reception. Anyways, I'm gonna strap you guys here and just take some clips throughout the whole night so you can see some behind the scenes footage of intimate small wedding at Birch Aquarium. A bit more. All right guys, we are here at Birch Aquarium and let me show you real quick a little setup. So cute. See right there, so small and cute. We have a harp right here. I'm gonna take some pictures of the setup real quick. Oh, look at that view. Wow. Amazing. All the people surfing over there. Super cool. Let's 
take a picture of the cake behind this amazing aquarium. All right, we're going into the aquarium to take some aquarium shots. Wow, look at that. That's epic. Alright guys, we are done with that wedding. Honestly, it got a little bit crazy after the ceremony, so I haven't re didn't really record anything, but we're on the way home, so tired, my feet hurt. <laughs> this is why I don't shoot weddings anymore. It's just too much work, too much anxiety, too much stress. Right. Okay, bye everyone. Hey guys, it's been a couple days since we last chatted. I'm actually in the van. My mom had an eye appointment today and her eyes are gonna be dilated, so she needed someone to drive her, so I took her and I'm just waiting for her. Um, I currently have my laptop with me so I can do some work. So I'm not really sure what's going on this week. It's kind of um, an impromptu, unplanned week for me. Donnie is off this weekend, so we are thinking to maybe do something, whether find a campsite, but they're all probably taken, or just kind of hang out, so we'll see. Okay, just got back home and a rock hit our window, so we have our first little van life repair that we need to get situated. There's just like a small nick on the windshield. Hopefully they can just fill it in and it'll be a quick repair, but let me show you guys real quick. I don't know if you could see it. I don't know if it's gonna capture it. You can kind of see it like glimmering. Annoying. Hi guys, quick Tuesday midday update. I just changed our bed sheets. I'm trying to get into habit of changing them at least every two weeks. Sometimes I'll push it to three, but two weeks because obviously we want it to be fresh and clean. We have two dogs, they shed a lot. So every two weeks we try to get the bed sheets done. It's just a hassle. I mean, I, I'm like sweating right now. I don't know if you guys also hate doing the bed sheets, but once you change them and get into them at night, it, you just feel so good. Also, happy to report, my bestie is still doing really well. Currently just watching some Jenna Hong. I'll link her down below, really like her channel. They were patiently waiting for me to uh, clean the bed. They're also eating bully sticks. I don't know if you know what these are, but <laughs> they're pretty much bull penis. Hey, leave it, leave it, thank you, sit. Good girl. Here you go, hero. You don't want it? Get it, girl. No? Also, a quick update. One of my best friends. I know I say best friends a lot and besties a lot, but I do have a really small group of people who I consider my best friends. And I have different relationships with each one of them, but I know that if I called them, texted them, and said, hey, I need you, they would drop everything and come. So that's why they are my best friends. I don't want you to think I use the word best friend loosely. Yeah, like I have a core group of best friends. I mean, I have one bestie, which you've seen on this vlog is Liberty. If I only had to pick one best friend, it would be her. There is a small group of us that we consider each other best friends, so. Just a quick note about whenever I say besties, I don't want you guys to think I, I, I use that term lightly. Anyways, one of my besties is actually moving to New York in December and her lease is up at her apartment in September. And so she asked me and Donnie if we would rent out a room to her in the time being from September basically to December until she moves to New York. So obviously we said, yeah, of course. There is literally nothing in there and she is only bringing a mattress. So I kind of wanted to make the room a little bit functioning for her with whatever we have laying around in the house because yeah I feel bad if she just came in here with just a mattress so yeah let me show you guys the room real quick again it's just very bare bones and whatever I had laying around the house that I could put in there so that she has some sort of seating area and more than a mattress uh, but let's go check it out real quick okay here is the bedroom that she'll be renting for three months I had this coffee table that I've been trying to sell an offer up it has like veins of pink in there, pink tones. And then I also have this couch that was in my office that I put in here. There's a Floyd lamp, some artwork that has been sitting in our hallway waiting to be hung. We don't really have a perfect spot for this yet, so we haven't hung it, but we found this piece at a consignment store. 
and it is by an artist called David Shapiro and it is called After the Snow Number 2 and it's 65 out of 250. I don't know if you can really see the detailing of this but we really love minimal artwork. Then just a little side table here and I'm thinking if she puts her bed right here she at least has an area to sit. Aiko is making herself at home. A oh, girl. Yeah, so it's not much, but I feel like at least it's better than just a mattress. The girl's ready for uh, another roommate for three months. They're like, Dad, what happened to Living Alone Diaries? And then next door is her bathroom. We're still cleaning, but yeah. So this has a Jack and Jill sink because next door was supposed to be the fifth bedroom of the house, but we obviously turned that into our retreat and game room. So there used to actually be a door right here, and so they covered it up. So that was the fifth bedroom. And the idea behind that is this bedroom and this bedroom would share this bathroom. So yeah, if we ever did renovations to this house or to this bathroom, we would probably make one sink and then storage or something just because I think it's redundant to have two sinks here but I don't know we'll see anyways this would be her bathroom because her room is right there all right y'all so like I said it is Tuesday and to be quite honest nothing else is pretty much going on throughout the week I am just basically working from home I think I am going to take the van out Friday to find a spot to work out of because I do want to at least take it out once a week to work remotely in the van and then other than that we'll see what the weekend brings because Donnie is off, so we'll try to do something fun. Otherwise, this is kind of a normal week in the life. Yeah, nothing too exciting, except these girls back here. Hello everyone, so it's been a couple days since we last chatted and I have a little bit of exciting news to share with you guys. So the other day we were just kind of looking at some campgrounds around the area and like I've mentioned before, it's it's been hard to get it because everything is booked. So we just randomly looked at a campground probably about 20 minutes away and there was an opening for our lakeside site and we booked it. I feel like it was a cancellation though because there was only literally one spot available. So I'm assuming maybe a family might have canceled and it was available. So we snagged it up and we are going there tomorrow which is Friday. Check-in time is about one o'clock and so since I can work out of there I'm gonna go ahead and go set up camp, finish the work day and then Donnie's gonna meet up with me after work. That is the plan for the weekend. It's like I said it's literally on the lake and so I got myself a fishing pole. So excited. I haven't gone fishing for so long. I can't remember when. So yeah, I wanna say the last time I was actively fishing was when my grandparents were still alive. They would go fishing at the Imperial Beach Pier almost every weekend. We would wake up three in the morning, get there by 4.35 in the morning. We were early birds to make sure we got a good spot on the pier and we would fish all the time. I remember one summer too, you would look down the line and you saw hundreds of fishing poles just through the whole pier and there would be days where everyone was catching a fish left right fish 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 and I also remember having a pole with like four or five hooks and sometimes we would literally catch five fish at one time it was like a fishing frenzy it was amazing but yeah since they passed long long time ago I haven't really gone fishing so I'm excited to venture out into trying my hand back at fishing obviously this is gonna be a little bit different because it is a freshwater lake and right now they stocked their lake with catfish they do sell their own bait at the general store so I will grab most of my essentials there I did pick up also a taco box I already uh, put a Yeti sticker on there. And I just kind of got some essentials to start off with. I got a couple options for weights. Also, I got some gloves because one thing about me in fishing is I hate to touch fish. Like squirmy, <laughs> slimy, slivery fish. I just, for some reason, I couldn't do it. My grandma was the one that would always unhook the fish for me. <laughs> So, I got some gloves, I got some fishing line, some hooks, and then some floaties. 
So yeah, that's kind of all I'm starting with. Hopefully that's all I need. Yeah, so with that said, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the vlog here so that I could start up the new vlog for our camping trip with the van. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed. Your bell notifications are on so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And if you're not subscribed and you're this far, you might as well do it. Hit that like button, comment, share it with anyone you think might like my channel and might be interested in part-time van life, lifestyle vlogs, food, travel, all that stuff. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you can, try to choose happy over sad today and I will catch you in the next video, which will be the camping video this weekend. All right, bye everyone.